What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's quick video, I'll be showing you how to create something pretty cool on GitHub. In fact, I only recently learned about it, is that your GitHub profile page, such as mine over here, can actually have a readme that shows up here. A simple markdown file like any other project's readme file would appear at the very bottom here. Pretty much everything that you do in here could be copy pasted into your profile to show up here showing stats about your coding, etc, etc followed by your popular repositories, contributions, etc, etc. Pretty cool. So how exactly do we do it? Well, it's really simple. All that you need to do is create a repository that's named exactly the same as your current username. So my usernames, TC, Nobo, Technobo. I'll click the plus in the top right, new repository, and I'll create Technobo, Technobo. As you can see, you found a secret. Technobo, Technobo is a special repository that you can use to add a readme to your GitHub profile. Make sure it's public and initialize it with a readme to get started. So all you have to do is make sure it's public and click add a readme file. Then click create repository at the very bottom. Now that we've done this, all we have to do is click the edit readme button on the right hand side and you can see we already have some default stuff over here. If I visit my profile, you'll see, hi there, that's basically it. So I've already got something prepared before this video here. All I'm going to do is copy it and paste it into here. It's quite a bit, but here's a nice little preview of what it looks like. And as you can see, the image is currently broken. Why is that? Well, it's because I plan on uploading an image to this directory here. So all I'm gonna do is head across to here, locate the image on my PC, drag and drop it in and upload it. It's a nice little SVG file. And after committing changes, you'll see it right over here. I can preview it in a new tab. And that's basically what it looks like, a nice little logo. So heading back to the readme file, if I head back to the preview page, you should then see that the icon loads. Maybe I've messed up the URL. Yes, it was main instead of master. And that's what my new profile would look like. Cool. So all I'm going to do from here is maybe shrink this down a little bit, maybe a bit more, much better. So from here, I'll just go ahead and save changes. And of course, it's a normal GitHub repository. Now, if we head back to our GitHub profile, you'll see something unique. Here's my image, little icon. I'm Wesley, a freelancer, blah, blah, blah. I've got a bunch of different links here, as well as a bunch of different language blocks, etc., etc. And at the very bottom, I have my repositories, contributions, etc., etc. It's really that simple. In fact, I think it's a bit too much. Let me remove the most used languages section. Simply heading back to Technobo, Technobo, or your username, your username, you can, of course, treat it as a normal repository. So I'll commit changes, refresh my profile, and there we have it, a nice little readme section showing something about myself. Pretty cool. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.